What is up, movie masters? Welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm going to be talking about something absolutely insane. Now, this is probably going to be like a... <clears throat> excuse me? Probably like a... Maybe a day or two late. But I don't, I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap. This is important. So, we're not going to be talking about what's on the thumbnail first. You know, like the little idea that was on the thumbnail of this video. No, we are going to be talking about something even more important, okay? It's going to involve Blue Sky Studios and Ice Sage and so much other stuff. So click down, down below if you want to hear more about this news I have for the, uh, for the future of stuff. Because I got a big, big surprise in the future once I start making that money for my movie ideas. Once I get the money from the movie ideas, this surprise is going to be huge and I think it's... I don't want to be, um, I, I want to be humble, but I do have to say, I think all of you are going to love me for the idea I got for you guys. It's a surprise, though. It's a surprise. Big surprise. And I'll remember it. Don't worry. I definitely remember it. I'm going to open up my laptop, pull up this news, and, um, uh, yeah. So, click on icon for more, and now, let's get to the news first, then the movie idea. Or actually, the TV series idea. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Let's get into this. Okay, so my news involves this. So, Blue Skies Studios, we all know it shut down, sadly, um, April 10th, 2022. Oh no, 2021, not 2022. 11 months ago. Wait, what? That's what defunct mean, right? It means, right? Yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyways, sadly, Blue Sky Studios, we all know it was shut down almost one year ago. All thanks to the evil, no good, not lying, but terrible. And by terrible, I don't mean terrible in films or stuff like that. I just mean terrible in general. Anyways, but the no good, Disney. Curse you, Mouse. You know what? Get out of here. Get out of here, Mickey Mouse. I'm no longer wishing for a Mickey Mouse movie out of you now. Thanks a lot, Disney. So we all know Disney is evil now for shutting down Blue Sky Studios. That day, a lot of people lost their jobs in business. And yeah, they lost everything. And ever since Disney acquired all the projects that they have, the rights now, we've just been hit with terrible after terrible. Terrible after <laughs> Disney, give back the open it back up, please. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me just give you a couple of pic pictures of what I'm talking about. Mm. <laughs> Double thumbs down for that. Last one. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Wait, wait. That looks like the exact... You'll notice is that nowhere in the trailer reveals the Blue Sky Studios name. You know, the team who actually brought this into reality? Yeah. There's this brief Disney Plus presents at the beginning, but not a single mention of the studio. Disney, how could you? Let's just, rip, let's just um, get this little Blue Sky Studio logo I have right here. There we go. That's better. And it's, uh, you can leave now. Bye, bye, poster. Bye. Alright, so yeah, Disney made terrible projects with ever since acquiring Fox and Blue Sky Studios. Cause, oh my gosh, the Home Alone reboot, I hated it, every moment of it, basically. And that Ice Age, I haven't even seen it, but I just know it's complete trash, especially with that animation. Like, Disney. It's like, why do you hate us, Disney? I know it's the good news about this, though. They did acquire Ice Age. 
that's not really good news, but the good news is they didn't get the rights to Scrat. So that's amazing. So Blue Sky Studios still own the rights to Scrat, even though it's shut down. And they made these old shorts before going called Scrat Tales and Ice Age Scrat Tales and it was a good shorts. It was good shorts. I I really wish it was a season two. Even though they're shorts and very short, like four minute four minutes, but you no, know, I don't care. I don't care. I love the shorts. They were amazing. I loved seeing the animation again. And then just the final episode. It was good. It was good. But then the see what little YouTube short came out on this channel called Fine Finale or Final, whatever. With the video with a video called The End. And if you don't know what I'm what I mean. Here's um here's a clip of it. So that was, that was actually beautiful. Now, if you follow the Ice Age franchise, or if you, actually, if you don't, you're probably like, what are you talking about? It's just a squirrel eating an acorn. How is that beautiful? But if you do follow the Ice Age franchise, then that, you know exactly what I mean by saying that is beautiful right there. Because let me tell you. 20 years um the squirrel named scrat always tries to get the acorn always tries to push it in the ground and uh, save it for winter and well sadly it never works out and i'm just realizing my headphones are connected so the audio might not come out please audio please please come out anyway so that squirrel never gets the acorn, never gets to eat it, never gets to push it in the ground. He always fails, and it's like the world is against him. So, it's so frustrating ever see, always seeing Scrat go through the stuff. It's funny sometimes, but really, after a while, you're just like, man, I feel bad for the squirrel, because that kind of stuff actually gets you killed, and somehow he lives through that. Oh, gosh, like that. Oh, my gosh, I feel bad for Scrat. So, just watching this short and seeing Scrat finally get the acorn, his goal for 20 years, that's insane, and I bet a lot of people were actually crying watching this short, because that was amazing. And it was their final goodbye from Blue Sky Studios. So, that is actually extremely sad, and just seeing Scrat get that acorn finally, it was... I don't know how to... Ex you know what? Val, um... Val Scumbum 19, is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Val, you explain for me in your words. I can die happy now. It's like a part of our childhoods that we can finally close the lid on. It's a satisfying closure not only to this era of Ice Age, but the last days of Blue Sky Studios. This is a confirmation you need that Blue Sky isn't coming back. Scrat's goal is achieved. The short only lasts about 30 seconds, but it's more powerful than you think. What I really love is the simplicity. After two decades of Ice Age, we know about the massive avalanches or disasters happening to Scrat. Everything is fast paced and the world is out to get him. It's not often we get a quiet moment where for once, he's not in any danger. This is that moment. Exactly what he said. I can now die happy knowing that the, squir the Scrat has finally got the acorn. I'm proud of you, Scrat. I'm proud of you. However, this video isn't entirely about Scrat. No, it's definitely not. Anyways, I just wanted to mention that. And now that that is mentioned, it's time to tell you the idea. Now that the news is finally out about that stuff, I just wanted to mention that before I actually said something. So I made a comment on the video I reacted to, which I just showed you. And what I said... I actually can't say it all the way through because it was a very long comment.
But what I do remember saying is that all this short did for me is give me the idea to just make me want to make the idea of a TV show. A TV show with five seasons, I hope, and then two movies, maybe even a third movie, maybe a three movie, a trilogy, and then a spin-off series, you know, uh, with this special little thing. If you're wondering why the franchise is so big, let me tell you the idea. Okay, so what is the idea? The idea. It involves a lot of characters that's never even said one word in their life. Maybe one line, actually, for some, a couple of them. But never, actually, really never one word for most of them. That's the idea. However, how does that work? Let me explain. So, the show, as it says in the thumbnail, the show will be called... The Untalkables. So, what is The Untalkables? Let me explain. Again. It starts off with this. It involves every... It involves lots of characters from your favorite franchises, like Minions, Rabbids, even Rabbids from Nickelodeon. Uh, Ice Age, um, what else? Aladdin, some characters, but I can't talk in Aladdin, you know? Um, well, actually, it's kind of hard. Oh, yeah, Buddy from Nut Job, you know, all, all, even Gromit from Wallace and Gromit. Almost all the characters, all the characters I can think of right now at the top of my head and looked online for, <laughs> um, that cannot even say one word some of them did have one line like buddy had his one line in the net job film but only one line so does it really count because he never spoke after that again he can't really talk i guess and then other the minions they sometimes speak a little english it's in minis so they can talk but just in their own kind of language but let me tell you something these characters that cannot talk, they've never been able to talk in their lives, they've never been able to really talk about the stuff. And, um, you know, and now my idea. So, it has this mystery character, this character we've never seen in any movie, any show, any game, any, 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 anything. A new character, a fully original character, and, um, he, op he comes through the multiverse, and he brings, uh, and he brings these characters that uh, I was just talking about into it with him. And he, they live in their own... Two very boring minutes later. Alright. I think I can talk now. Anyways, it has this character we never met before. Go through the multiverse and collect these characters that I ha just told you about. You know, and they actually... And that's really much the story, except that's the beginning of the story. The rest of the story will be like this. They live in their own universe where they can actually speak to each other. And they are a team called the Untalkables, where their their power can is that they can talk to the creatures that cannot talk at all. They can only they're the only ones that can talk to them. And um their job is to help the creatures that cannot talk help them with their life you know like uh like there's an emergency the tr creatures are trying to talk and talk to you tell you what it is they're like they can actually hear what they're saying like ah there's an emergency there's an emergency right now the uh, building's on fire ah uh, what are you doing go save them you know they're actually you can actually hear what they're saying from their point of view that's their job basically you know kind of the help their life that w w about the creatures that cannot talk and they actually live in space too you just so they can have a good radar of all the emergencies around the world and that's really much it you know? So yeah, like Scrat, Minions, Buddy from That Job, Abu, Gromit, all of these characters, they finally get to say a word or speak multiple words. Oh, some of the actors, I want them to return as real characters, like the character, the actor that would play the Minions, even though he wouldn't really say anything, he said a Minionese, which is a type of language, I guess. 
I want him to play the minions, and Kevin Arnett actually to play a different special type of minion. But anyways, I want the original guy to play the rest of the minions, and we could actually hear what they would sound like with voices. And the other characters too, like Scrat. And look, that's gonna be amazing. Hearing Scrat finally not be like, <laughs> no, you can actually be like, no, no, that's my acorn. No, my acorn. You know, he, you can actually hear what they're saying. That's the point of this show, you know? The untalkable is to help the creatures that cannot talk and other creatures and other people that cannot talk to. Also, Sea Chai characters too. I did not get any clue who should be like, part of the team of the CGI characters. They'll probably happen later in the seasons where our episodes, stuff like that. Anyways, that's the, the that's the, that's the main point, you know? Creatures, c characters you never heard say a single word in your life, <clears throat> excuse me, of the franchise, and they finally get to speak. That's really much it, even though it's not that, that even though it's kind of simple, it's an amazing idea. Plus, I want Blue Sky Studios to be a part of it. And if you're wondering, well, Blue Sky Studios is shut down, so how does that work? That's the surprise, you know? So, I'm gonna ruin the surprise right now. Ready? The surprise is... Gonna be mentioned in the next video. Just kidding. The surprise will actually be talked about in the next video. It won't be a very long video. However, it's gonna be an amazing surprise, and I can't wait to tell you guys how Blue Sky Studios will be part of this, um... This, uh, this adventure, this show, and eh, whatever. And of course, we have the other, uh, uh <laughs> studios that's gonna be part of it too, like Elimination, they own Minions, Disney, uh, I just realized something, Disney owns Aladdin, crap, and Disney is the same people that shut down Blue Sky Studios. Ah, oh, this might be harder than I thought. Unless I'm Nickelodeon because they own Rabbid, Rabbids. So yeah, we have like the studios that owns the characters part of this dream. I want a lot of them to work together with us. Uh, we all we will all be paid 50-50 by the way. All 50-50. GCA Studios, Disney, Universe, um, Illumination, Blue Sky, you know, the Claymation Studio. All of us will be paid 50-50 so it's all fair. And now for actually something I wanted to talk about. Who is going to be this character, this mystery character? I'm going to be talking about that next time in th th when we talk about this. Not next time, next video. That's going to be about the blue skies. Um, the, the little uh, surprise, you know? No, the next time we talk about this kind of stuff again, I'm going to be telling you guys about this full character and even how it's going to connect to the spinoff series. But I will tell you who uh, who it is. So um, it's really just um, his name is gonna be. I haven't actually thought about that yet. But at the top of my head, I think it will be Thomas. Um, no, Thomas Wayne is actually taken by Batman. Um, Tobin Thomas Ro Robbins. Is that a name? Is that a name in the Meet the Robinsons? No, I don't think so. Thomas Robinson. That's gonna be his name, and he's connected to. He's gonna be connected to this little series called Sky City. That place where he lives, and I want there. And that's what I want the spinoff series to be about. The the characters that we never met before all have their first show, so we know how it all began. You know, because these are gonna be character. That's gonna be a character we never seen in our lives before, and then you know. We'll get our own, you get our own spinoff series, and we'll finally get to know who these characters are in the first place. Because and it, the show will be called Sky City before the the Untalkable. Sometimes it's hard to remember the name. But yeah, that's my idea. Tell me in the comments below what do you think of it. Now, before I end this video, I want to tell you guys again how much I want there to be. So I want there to be. Five seasons of this series. It's going to be a series. I want it to be a series. I want it to be five seasons. And then I want there to try to be at least two movies. I want to go through for three. I'll, I'll try to go through for three. But if I can't do three, I'll be fine with two movies. I'll be fine with a, a, a sequel. 
the uh, original and the sequel, whatever. And then a spin-off series, Sky City, before the Untalkables. So that's really much all I want from this franchise. I want this to be a real thing. I want Blue Skies to, to come back. And I want all these characters that you never heard t talk before talking. I thought I think every time a, ca a new character talks, like Tom and Jerry, whenever I saw the first movie, I loved it when they talk. And I... I Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I hated it when they didn't talk to the new one. In fact, I kind of hated the new one. The new one is not a Tom and Jerry movie. It may be interesting on its own type of thing, but not when it's a Tom and Jerry movie. That is so boring, and I'll go back to the original any other day and watch that again. I'm sorry, new Tom and Jerry. But if you added a little more Tom and Jerry, like, that's in the name, maybe I would have loved it more. Yeah, so... So yeah, I love to see characters you don't really hear at all now talk. Like, that kind of stuff, it gets me excited just to hear the voices be like, Oh, that's how they sound, and whoa, I never hear this in the series, or the stuff like that. It's so exciting, you know? I always love doing that, so I wanted to make a show called The Untalkables. Thanks to Emery getting this idea that Unspeakable is going to sue me for the name, you know. I've, I've just been stuck on the name Unspeakable and Untalkable now. So thanks a lot, Emery. You got Unspeakable stuck on my head now for the title. It's going to be Untalkable, but that just na that name. And now I can't get Unspeakable out of it. I got I to go. Um, uh, let's end this video. I, I said everything I want to. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video and turn on that notification bell. I can't wait to um, talk about this in the future. Oh, and I forgot to say, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want more like this, com uh, comment down below and like the video. 10 more likes and we will talk more about the Untalkables. Next video we talk about Untalkables, we're going to be talking about that mystery character. that um, the uh, Thomas Robinson. We're going to be talking about Thomas Robinson and what character he is. Because remember, all these characters could not really talk before. Some of them may have had one line here and there, or maybe just once in their life. But really, much, they really kind of never talked before. So Tom, who is Thomas Robinson, and how? why did he, could he never talk before? That's what you'll find out in the next video of The Untalkables. And don't forget, the next video I'm gonna be giving, I'm gonna be spoiling my surprise in the future if it ever happens. I really hope it does. I can't wait to talk about it. I'm actually gonna record it right after done. I'm done recording, and then after that, I might with, nah, not, not yet. Maybe another day. Maybe another day. But um, after this, I'm gonna be recording probably like a couple gaming videos, maybe a little reaction, cause you know I don't have a headache anymore from recording so much after that uh, week ago. So. I might do a lot, you know, after recording this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. What a day. Peace out, guys. What? What a day. What a day. That's all, folks.